Bless you, Alice. Bless you, Sister Alice. Praise the Lord, Sister Alice. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The Holy Ghost from heaven. The Father's promise given. Bless you. Bless you, Mother. Bless you, Auntie Jim. Bless you, Chris. Chris Bush Brown. Bless you, Auntie Jim. Sister Alice, Rocky Mount, North Carolina, bless you. Bless your family. London, England is in the house. Florida is in the house. Florida is in the house. London, England is in the house. Hey, Chris, are you in London right now? Are you in England right now or Jamaica? Blessings, Chris. Are you in England or Jamaica right now? Millville, New York is in the house. Millville, New York is in the house. Bless you, Jennifer. Bless you, Auntie Jim. Bless you. Hallelujah. Okay, UK, London, England is in the house. That's what I thought. Bless you, Chris. The comforter has come. Bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. Jennifer, I need you to be a scribe for me tonight. I need you to scribe for me tonight. And look who is in the house. Jamaica is in the house. Michelle is in the house. Michelle is in the house. Mother, say hello to Michelle from Jamaica. Michelle from Jamaica. Blessed, Michelle. Blessed love. Amen. Blessed love. Hey, Jennifer, could you scribe for me tonight? Scribe for me tonight when I'm teaching, all right? Scribe for me. I need some scribes on here. Bless you, Pastor Zena. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you, Pastor Zena. Amen. Bless you. Come on in, everybody. Come on in. We have good news. We have good news and a good word. We have good news and good word. Come on in. We have good news and good word. Good news and good word. 
Amen. Can you all hear me clearly out there? I know I have a strong voice. <laughs> I have to keep checking my voice because my voice is very strong. <laughs> Sometimes I don't really need a mic, really, because my voice is really strong. But welcome, everybody, tonight. Welcome. I'm going to get started. I'm going to get started. Praise the Lord. I'm going to get started. Everybody else that come in, they could catch the news later. But we need to get started tonight. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in to our program tonight. Amen. Is my background music too loud? No? Yes? Somebody talk back to me. Tell me what you're hearing out there. Amen. Praise the Lord. There you go. So, so you know how we do church on here. Too loud, Alex? Okay, too loud. Let me turn that down a little bit. All right, thank you. So, so you know how we do church on here. This is internet church. This is online church. So, when you come online, if you see somebody you know that you want to greet, you could go ahead and greet them on it just like you hug them in church. Amen. Like, for example, my cousin just came on from Jamaica and my mother is telling her hello right now. You could do the same thing, greet each other on here just like you do normally when we get to church. All right. And during the program, uh, Jennifer is going to is going to scribe for me. If anybody is want to scribe, feel 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 free, because also I do read all the comments after the program. After the program, I do read all the comments and take note of the comments as well. All right. So you participate in our programs by scribing as we go along. The words that come from my mouth. You type them on here, and that's how people follow along sometimes with the program. All right, hopefully you guys will send me some hearts tonight. Hopefully you guys will send me some hearts tonight. Amen. All right, Father, we thank you for tonight. We thank you, God, for giving us one more night to share with your beautiful, wonderful people. Father, I pray that this witness, God, that you'll bless us tonight. Charge this witness with your power. Grant to your servant tonight clarity of thoughts and precision of expression. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I have some good news for you and I have a word. I'm going to get into the good news first. First of all, first of all, I would like to thank everybody that came out tonight, last night, and supported our internet birthday party for Pastor Zena Campbell, for the First Lady. This was the first time I'm ever doing an internet birthday party. And y'all came to the party, y'all threw out, and we had a wonderful time. I was watching back the party and I was amazed. I was amazed. Amen. I was amazed. So thank you so much. Um, hopefully we get First Lady on tomorrow. And she will say much more on that. But tonight, I am personally thank you because I was the one who threw the party for my wife because she deserves it. She's a wonderful woman of God. And she turned 56 yesterday, and I wanted to do something special for her. And you guys came alongside me and helped her feel great, help her feel happy, and make her day wonderful and blessed. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord. Also, I want to do this before I get into the teaching. Listen, those of you that's on here, I want to personally thank you for sowing into this ministry. Yes, I said it. I want to thank you for sowing into this ministry. Those of you on here that sent your mail offerings in, use Cash App, use whatever, and sowed into the ministry, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Because of your giving, we were able to do a little bit more for the for people, um, the elderly, for the people that's in need. We were able to give a little bit more and do a little bit more because of your giving to the Word of Life ministry. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And to, to my deacons, oh my God, to my deacons and my staff, Word of Life deacons and staff, some of the hardest committed working people on the planet. Want to thank my deacons for delivering food for her, for helping out and helping 
the membership that's in need. Oh my God, thank you. Amen. Special, special thanks to Deacon Hubert, my key man. That's my main man. That's my main man. Thank you, Hubert. Special tonight. I'm calling your name tonight. If anybody get mad, that's their problem. I can't call everybody's name, but I'm calling your name tonight because you are phenomenal. You are phenomenal, Deacon. Thank you for helping and making me look good and making me and the first lady good, look good and making the church look good. Thank you, Word of Life staff. We appreciate that. Because of you that gave, we were able to do more. Amen. Those of you that sent offering, gifts, and tithe, we were able to do a little bit more. Amen. For those that in need. All right. Here's the good news. Here's the good news I have for you. Two more. Two more souls. Two more souls. Some, somebody have to give God praise right there, right now. Two more souls. Two more souls. Said the sinner's prayer accepted the Lord Jesus Christ. So now we're up to 42 souls, 42 souls on the internet that said the sinner's prayer and accept the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know how in the world I'm gonna have these people baptized because they're all over the place, but they said the sinner's prayer, accepted the Lord Jesus Christ right here. Let me tell you something, little is much when God is in it. I believe that with all my heart, little is much when God is in it. Listen, I, I had an opportunity to interact with one of the persons that accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, and it wasn't even on a live broadcast. It wasn't, it wasn't even live like now. They stumbled into the program on YouTube. They stumbled into this program on the YouTube channel, and check this out, check this out, testimony. I can't call names, but I'm giving you the testimony. This particular person had a suicidal mind. This person had a suicidal mind. And they tuned into the program and heard the song, The Comforter Has Come. The song that we opened with, The Comforter Has Come. And that song got their attention. And it was one of those programs where after I was finished ministering, I invite somebody to say the sinner's prayer. And, good God from Zion, this person said the sinner's prayer. Not in a lot, it's an after program, it's a YouTube program. So even after I'm finished here, <laughs> amazing, even after I'm finished here live, the Holy Spirit is still moving, praise the Lord, from the videos. Listen, I feel humble. My, 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 my tears, tears roll down my, I'm, I know I'm a big dude, but I'm very emotional. I, I'm very in touch with, with, my, with my feminine self. Tears roll down my eyes. Praise God. When, when this report came in, tears, I, tears, tears of joy to realize that from a simple little, simple little thing like this, simple, how simple. I haven't even done what other people are doing yet, you know, with all the graphics and all that stuff. Just simple. But God is blessing people and people are getting delivered. So as of right now, day number 89, this is day number 89 since I've been on here um, every night at 930. And as of day number 89, 42 souls, 42 souls said the sinner's prayer, accept the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen. If God never used me to do anything else for the rest of my life, I feel like I've accomplished. I feel like the Lord has used me to accomplish something. I feel like a purpose has been accomplished, amen, since we've been on here. And those of you that's been on here every night and um, the Lord's been helping along the way and the Lord's been strengthening, that's even purpose filled. That's even purpose accomplished. And good God from Zion, my heart is well and overwhelmed tonight. But anyway, let me tell you something. I have a word tonight for somebody. I have a word for about 24 people tonight. I have a word for 24 people tonight. 24 people is here tonight for this word that I'm about to drop into your spirit. 24 people, bishops, pastors, leadership. You, I have a word for you right now, all right? All right, let me get straight to this word because my time is really limited on here. 
Amen. My time is really limited on here. There you go, Jennifer. Scribe in for me. All right, tonight I'm going to talk to you from 2 Kings chapter 6, 16. 2 Kings 6, 16. I'm going to hit it and quit it, but I just want to bring a point out to us tonight that the Lord dropped into my spirit. 2, 2 Kings, 2 Kings 6 and verse 16. I'm reading this from the King James Version. 2 Kings, 2 Kings 6, verse 16. And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. I'm going to read it again. And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they with them. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Elijah, Elisha, Sha, Sha, Elisha. <laughs> Always get the mix up sometimes. Elijah and Elisha. <laughs> but Elisha says, Elisha says, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that with them. Praise the Lord. I titled, Bless you, Thomasina. Sweetie, Thomasina is on. I titled tonight's program, Fear Not. I titled tonight's program, right up top, Fear Not. Fear Not. Now, here's where I'm going with this word for you tonight. Here's where I'm going with this word for night, tonight. Fear Not appears in the Bible 300 times. Fear Not appear in the Bible 300 times. That's a whole lot of time that the Lord and the Bible is telling us not to fear. All right? But these are the words of God recorded in 2 Kings. 2 Kings, the man of God was speaking to a people that was thinking that the Syrian army, though the army was greater than Praise the Lord, their own self and their own army. All right, but I, I might be I, I might be off a little bit from the full story, but there's a point I'm trying to get to our minds tonight that the Lord drop in my spirit. I want to use this fear not and the fact that they that they they that are against you, Amen. The, 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 those that are against you are less than those that are for you. Those that are not with you are less than those that are with you. This is what this is the point I'm trying I want to get across to somebody tonight. Somebody that's going through situations and circumstances where within your sphere, within your sphere right now, you feel like the enemy is attacking you, amen, right within your sphere, right within your circle, right within your comfort zone. You feel like your attack is coming at you from right within your comfort zone. Come on now. In other words, feels like your, your, your attack is coming from you, coming at you, amen, coming at you from closeness, from close associates, from close family members, from close friends, from people within your sphere of influence. I want to talk to you tonight. The Lord dropped this in my spirit and I want to talk to you tonight. First of all, I want to tell you to be encouraged. I want to tell you to fear not. I want to tell you that those that love you is more than those that does not love you. I want to tell you tonight that those that are for you are more than those that are against you. Amen? There is more for you than against you. I want you to tell yourself that. I want you, whoever you are tonight, whoever I'm talking to tonight, who feels like all hell is breaking loose around you, like all hell is coming at you, amen, from your familiarity, from your familiar place, from your familiar people,
from your familiar circumstances. You feel like all hell is coming at you. Listen to me. Here's what I want to ask you to do. Here's what I want to ask you to do. The first thing is, listen to me. Listen to me. I want you to take a stock and I want you to ask yourself, who am I? Who am I? Ask yourself that question. Who am I? And as soon as you could answer that question, who you are and whose you are. I'm going to say that again. As soon as you could answer that question of who you are and whose you are, and you could settle both equation within yourself, I guarantee you, your mindset, amen, your mindset will immediately change. Yeah, once you realize who you are and whose you are, your mindset will immediately change. Amen. I want to tell you that. I want to tell you that. Another point I want to drop in your spirit, and listen to me carefully, because I'm talking to 24 people on here tonight, and I'm speaking prophetically into your spirit right now. Sometimes in life, who you think you need, you don't need them. Listen to me. The Lord gave me this word for you. Some 24 of you out there, sometimes who you think you need, you don't need them. You don't need them. You don't need them. Sometimes who you think you need in your life, you don't need them. Hmm? You don't need them. I'm going to tell you that. You are seeing things from a different vernacular. You think you need certain people, but you don't need them. Yeah, I'm talking to you. The Lord told me to tell you that tonight. You don't need them. Your oil, your oil, your oil by yourself. Your oil, listen to me, your oil is very thick. Your oil is very rich. Your oil is more pure than the people you think you need. Can I say that one more time for you? Maybe you could catch this in the spirit. I say your oil, your oil that the Lord put inside of you. Yes, I said that. Your oil that the Holy Spirit puts inside of you is more thicker, it's more richer, and it's more pure than the people you think you need. You see, you think you need certain people to make your oil thick, to make your oil rich, to make your oil pure, but you're already at a pure place. Good God from <laughs> Woo! You are already at a pure place place. You are already at a rich place. You're already at a thick place in the Holy Spirit. What you're looking at, what you're looking at, what you're seeing in the natural, what you're seeing with your natural eyes is fooling you. You need God. That's who you need. You need God to go alongside you. You need the Holy Spirit to go alongside you. Let me tell you, the Holy Spirit is not going to be jealous of you. <laughs> Woo. I'm getting some download tonight. The Holy Spirit is not going to be jealous of you. The Holy Spirit is not going to cop an attitude because you got thick oil. The Holy Spirit is not going to cop an attitude with you because you, you have a rich oil. The Holy Spirit is not going to get, 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 get jealous of you. Glory to God because your oil is pure. 
I've come to realize that as soon as you can find out who you are, you realize you don't have to depend on the people you think you want to depend on. Can I tell you something? As soon as you find out that God is with you, you do you. Come on, come on. Touch yourself and say, self, do you. If God is in your life, do you. Stop trying to do everybody else. Stop trying to want to do what everybody else do. Stop trying to want to be like everybody and do you. Oh my God, I'm talking, I'm talking to someone tonight. Do you. If you know who you are, do you. Nobody can make you happy but you. Do you. Oh God, I could close on that right now. I've, I'm going to pay myself a dollar tonight. Do you. My mama Shia. I'm talking to a bishop tonight. I'm talking to a pastor tonight. I'm talking to a minister tonight. I'm talking to a family member tonight. Do you. And when you start doing you, you start depending on God. Listen to me. You start depending on God. Because God put a lot in you. You have a lot in you. I don't want to yell on here. I don't want to start yelling at people on here. <laughs> Calm down, Campbell. Don't get too excited tonight. God put oil in you. God put pureness in you. God put success in you. Don't be afraid. Don't, 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 let, don't, let, don't let what you see other people doing affect your mental state of mind, your mental state of mind. Do you. You are unique. Masha. You are God's original. Do you? I, I, I hope I'm getting to somebody tonight. I came on here to talk to somebody tonight. I came on here to talk. I came on here to change your mind with a word. I'm, I'm going to pay me tonight. I'm going to pay myself tonight for this word. Do you. Mm, do you. If God call you, do you. If God call you, do what God call you to do. If God call you, he's going to equip you. Listen to me. The people you're trying to hook up to, the people you're trying to join yourself with, the people you think got it going on and you're trying to hook up with, your oil is stronger. Their oil is diluted. Their oil is polluted. You trying to go mix your pure, your pure, thick, rich oil with polluted oil, say the Holy Spirit. You're pure. Don't, don't let facades, don't, don't let facades. That's one of the problems in America. America is, is, is pretty graphic. They, they like graphic stuff. So you, 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 you could dazzle gold plate in front of people and they think it's real gold because they're not looking at the quality. They're not looking at the value. And I'm talking to somebody tonight. Somebody is dazzling you with gold plate. It's not real. Gold-plated relationship. Gold-plated friendship. Gold-plated fellowship. It's not real. You are more pure than the gold plated that being presented. Do you? Do you? Mm. Do you? I, I come to talk to a preacher tonight. I come to talk to a female preacher tonight. I come to talk to a female preacher tonight. If God called you, preach. If, if God called you, teach. <laughs> Preacher, pastor, bishop. If God called you, 
teach. If God called you, preach. And let me tell you what. If the big boys club won't accept you, won't accept your calling, I'm going to give you advice. This is called the Bishop Steve O. Campbell advice. Teach circles around them. <laughs> Preach circles around them. Pray around them. Pray past them. Yeah, don't let them stop you. Don't let them shut you out. Keep doing you. Keep doing what God called you to do and be you. Because guess what? The Lord says, I, if you do me, God said, if you do what I call you to do, I will bless the works of your hand. Say it, the Holy Spirit. I will bless the work of your hand. So watch this. Do what God called you to do and let them watch God bless you. Oh, preacher, come on, preacher. Talk back to me, preacher. Do what God called you to do and let them watch God bless you. You, you don't need their acceptance. You don't need their acceptance. God has approved you. You've been approved by God. Hey, somebody type that. You've been approved by God. God stamp an approval upon your life. And God says, go and be my mouthpiece. Go and represent me in the kingdom. Come on now. Your oil is thicker. I, 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 I want somebody to walk around their house now that's been, that's, been, that's been struggling with friendship that won't love you back, friendships that won't give back to you, friendships that won't bless you back. You're struggling with that. Take time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. You don't need them. You don't need them. All you need is God. Because when God is with you. And you're doing you. God. God will send the people. That will be attracted to your anointing, to your pureness, to your oil. Do you hear me what I'm saying? Can you hear me tonight, preachers? Can you hear me tonight, family members? Can you hear me, people? Do you time out from getting hurt, from trying to want to be? You, 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 you want to be friends with people so bad. You want to fellowship with people so bad. And, and you're wondering why you're giving, why you're loving, why you're sharing. And it's not coming back to you. Oh, I come to tell you tonight. Time out. Stop. Stop. Change. Do you. Focus on you. Preach past them. Pray past them. Sing past them. Live past them. Live past them. I'm giving you the remedy right now for what you need. 24 of you out there, live past them. Live past them. Ignore them. Put blinders on. Elijah send the servant out. Elisha send the servant out. Servant came back. Hey, what do you see? You see horses. I said, close your eyes. Listen, close your eyes again. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Whatever your name is, close your eyes. Close your eyes. You're seeing too much stuff. You're seeing too much of the wrong stuff. Close your eyes. Meditate. Focus. Think about your dreams. Think about your goals. Think about your aspiration. Think about your anointing. Think about the vision that God gave you. The vision that God gave you, he didn't give it to you to ask anybody's approval. Think about, close your eyes. Close your eyes and think. Focus on you. Focus on what God placed inside of you. Come on, somebody. Come on. I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is speaking expressly right now to you. Welcome, Sister Charmaine. The Holy Spirit is speaking to you expressly. Sweetie, Sister Sharman on here. The Holy Spirit is speaking expressly. Think, God, God, God's put a whole lot in you. Hey, young lady. 
young beautiful sister, young beautiful lady. You, you don't need a man to tell you you're beautiful. Listen to me. You, you don't need a man to tell you you're beautiful. You are beautiful. God made you beautiful. Act like it. Dress like it. Talk like it. Come on now. Motivate yourself. Because God put motivation inside of you. Dress up. Fix up yourself. Get up and wash your face. God wants to inspire you. You don't need affirmation from folks who's going to be jealous of you. You don't. You don't need affirmation from folks who are threatened by you because check this out. Folks are seeing more about you than you're seeing about yourself. Oh my God, I'm talking to 24 of you on here tonight. I'm giving you a ream of word tonight, a ream of word tonight. And my time is up. Oh my God, every time it gets good, my time, get, my time is up. <laughs> every time it gets good, my half an hour is up. Listen to me. Be yourself. Be yourself. Don't try to be like nobody else. Don't try to be like nobody else. Be the best you you can be. Yeah, be the best you you can be. Comparison is the biggest thief of your joy. Comparison is the biggest thief of your joy. Be the best you you can be. Finally, be you and flow in you and fly like an eagle, soar like an eagle, because that's what you are. Have no fear. Have no fear. Listen to me. Have no fear for the person beside you. Have no fear for the person you're looking at. And tell yourself, God can use me. God is using me. Tell yourself, you're beautiful. Tell yourself, I got gifts and talents that God has placed inside of me. And exercise it. Exercise it. Do something. Move, make a move. Make a move. Do something with the talent you have because that's what God is going to bless. God is going to bless when you do stuff. God's going to bless when you put action to your vision, action to what you're thinking, action to what's going on inside of you. Don't be intimidated. Have no fear. Fear not. And let me tell you something last and finally. And this is where the problem lies. The men the man of God said there are more for you than against you. And I want you to see that tonight. There are more people that love you. There are more people that respect you. There are more people that, that, are, that, that, that like you to be around them than the few jealous people, than the few people who can't stand you because you're anointed, because you got gifts. You, have, you possess stuff they don't have. You possess rich oil. You possess pure oil. So rise up. Shake yourself. Shake yourself from the dust. Look yourself in the mirror. mirror. Pat yourself on the shoulder. Yes, I said it. Pat yourself on the shoulder. And say, God is my Jehovah Jireh. God is my provider. God is my deliverer. God will see me through. I'm, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to, I'm trying to cut it down. I'm trying to, God is my deliverer. I want you to say that. And I want you to believe that God will bring you through. I want you to believe and have no fear that when you put your left foot before your right foot and your right foot before your left foot, that God is going to make a way for you. I want you to think that way. I want you to think, I want you to walk into places and act like you own it. Act like you own it. Don't be down because there are more for you. 
there's more people who want to see the goodness of God in you than those jealous demons that you're hanging around. That those, than those jealous demons who are scared of you passing them, who are scared of you getting more than them. Come on. God said, fear not tonight. Come on. Fear not tonight. Come on, I'm lifting you up. I'm taking you somewhere. I'm taking you somewhere. Because God wants to move you. God wants to, God wants to move you. He wants to shake you around. He, he wants to accomplish something in your life. He wants to accomplish something in you. Don't you ever let anybody tell you what you're not. Because greater is he. Hatabashanda. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Fear not. There are more people for you than against you. The problem is you're spending too much time thinking about the people that don't like you. You're spending too much time thinking about the wrong set of people. You know I'm talking to you. That's the problem. I'm, I've diagnosed your problem. Now fix it. Don't, don't look at the 5% that don't like you. Focus on the 95% that think you're the bomb. Focus on the 95% that think you're beautiful. Focus on the 95% that think the anointing of God is in your life. If you teach, preach circles around them. Preach and teach circles around them. Bypass them. Bypass them. Don't even look at them. Keep your eyes front and keep focus on what God calls you to do. I'm done. I have to go. I'm not trying to hold you all night. It's nine. It's, it's my, I'm supposed to be on here for half an hour. And I know y'all senior citizens need to go to bed. But this night time, I told you the person, one of the person that recently got saved, they had a suicidal mind. And they stumbled into the broadcast and heard me rebuking a suicidal mind. And say the sinner's prayer. And accepted the Lord Jesus Christ. That's how powerful God is. That's how powerful the power of God is. Right now you're experiencing things going on in you. Change is happening in your life right now. And you can't explain it. But I'm explaining it for you. God is taking you to a new level. Let me explain it for you. Your life has changed. Since this COVID pandemic. And you've been locked in here in the word of God. God been stretching you. What's going on in you is God stretching your spirit. It's God showing you to have no fear. Because what you think you was is different from what you're feeling right now. And you're feeling that right now you could conquer the world. Right now there's a praise on your lips. There's a praise in your heart. Come on now, you know I'm telling the truth. Give God a praise. I feel it in my spirit. God is doing something with you. You can't explain it, but I'm explaining it for you. It's God moving you. It's God prompting you. Is God giving you hope? Is God telling you not to be stagnant? He's telling you, you got the oil. He's telling you, you have what it takes. Come on, you have what it takes. That's God telling you that. Don't let nobody shout you down. Don't let nobody devalue you. Don't let nobody put you down. Don't let nobody tell you you can't. Because God said you can. And greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Fear not. For they're great. those that are for you are more than those that are against you. This is the word of the Lord to you tonight. Receive it tonight. Receive it tonight. Receive it tonight. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. Bow your heads with me. I got to go. Bow your heads with me. Let me pray for you. Let me pray for you. And if you're watching tonight and you are not saved, I want to invite you to Christ. 
I want to tell you that Jesus died for you. I want to tell you, most importantly, Jesus loves you. I want to tell you tonight that God specializes in second chances. No, your life is not destroyed. No, you're still breathing. You can breathe. You're still breathing. And while there is hope, while there's life, there is hope. There's hope for you tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I speak this over your life tonight. There is hope for you. Yes, you. I don't care what that man told you. I don't care what that boy told you. I don't care what your friends tell you. I don't care who talk you down. I don't care what your mother told you or your father told you. Jesus brings hope to you tonight. I am introducing Christ to you, the hope of glory. That's what I'm doing tonight. Let me walk you down to the altar. Come on with me. Come on with me. Let me walk you down to the altar. Come on, come on, come with me, come with me. Come with me. Come with me in your mind, in your spirit. Bow your head with me. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. And I'm also going to offer the sinner's prayer as well. I'm going to pray. You're feeling What you're feeling right now is the Holy Spirit. Yeah, that's what you're feeling right now. You're feeling the Holy Spirit. 42 people have taken this walk with me right here on the internet so far. 42 people. Would you walk with me tonight? I'm leading you in the right direction. I'm leading you to the cross. I'm leading you to Jesus. He is the best thing that will ever happen to you. Bow your heads with me. Father, thank you for allowing me to speak this word to your people tonight. Fear not, for they are more for you than against you. Lord, I thank you for allowing your people to receive this teaching tonight. Lord, I pray that this teaching will find root and ground in their hearts tonight. And that their life will be transformed. That their mindset will be transformed in the name of the Lord Jesus tonight. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I pray, God, that self-esteem will be rise up tonight. I pray, God, that you will rise up the eagle in our listeners tonight. I pray you'll rise up the Judah in your people tonight. And praise will come forth from their mouths. Deliverance will come. Father, tonight, once again, I rebuke suicide. I rebuke the spirit of suicide right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Suicide, I come against you. Get out of here. Get out of there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the child of God. That's a child of God in the name of Jesus. I bind up the pressure tonight. I come against depression tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you for being a Jehovah Jireh for your people tonight. Thank you for providing for them, Lord. Thank you for opening doors. Thank you for strengthening their hearts tonight in Jesus' name. And if you feel the Holy Spirit tonight and you would like to give your heart to Christ, I want you to say after me tonight, I'm going to lead you into a short prayer. Short prayer. And if you will confess him tonight with your mouth, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says you shall be saved. We'll do baptism later. But say this prayer with me, please, if you will. Let me lead you. Let me lead you. Let me lead you to change. Let me lead you to Christ. Say after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I know I am a sinner. And I ask you now, Lord, for forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins. I believe you rose from the dead. I will trust you and follow you as my Lord and Savior from this day forward come into my heart come into my heart please 
Jesus, right now, I make you my Lord and my Savior. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If you said that prayer with me just now, if you said that prayer with me just now, I want to welcome you to the newness of life. I want to welcome you to the family of Christ. I want to welcome you to the body of Christ. Yeah, 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 I'm going to get you baptized later. But I thank you for confessing Jesus Christ as Lord with me right here in the name of the Lord Jesus. May his grace shine upon you and keep you. Inbox me. Inbox me your testimony. Be the 43rd person. Be the 43rd person to accept the Lord Jesus Christ right here in this forum. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I feel the Holy Spirit tonight, church. I want to thank you all for tuning in tonight. It is my heart's desire not to introduce to you religion because that's a mere belief in God. It's my desire that you will have a personal and profound relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Thank you so much for tuning in. I want you to watch this broadcast again, watch the tape again, and eat this word that I shared with you. Eat it with you. Fear not. You don't need them. You have your own all. Your all is rich. And they are more for you than against you. In Jesus' name. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. All right, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to try to do a quick run. I'm going to, I'm going to try to do a quick run on the visitors again tonight. A lot of people, I'll, when I'm preaching, when I'm speaking, I lose track of y'all. That's why I try to call some names from the beginning of the program. That's why I try to call some names from the beginning of the program. Amen. But let me see if I can do some of y'all real quick. Alice, mother, praise the Lord. Uh, Auntie Jem, Chris Busher Brown from London, England. Amen. Alice, Rocky Mon Carla, Pepe, bless you. Bless you. Uncle Peter, Pat, Jennifer, thank you for subscribing for me tonight. Bless you. Bless you. My cousin, Michelle Bennett, God bless you. Love you, honey. Amen. Pastor Zena, bless you. Happy birthday again, Pastor Zena. Amen. Mother. It's a long list here. Long stuff going on right here. Pepe. Amen. Silver Thomas. Pastor Silver Thomas. God bless you. God bless you, Pastor Thomas. Your dad was the first bishop I had in my lifetime <laughs> when I was younger. Thomasina. Thomasina, bless you. Onto Gem, Joyce. I got two Onto Gems on here. Two Onto Gems I have on here. One in Jamaica, one in Georgia. God bless you. Amen. The whole family is here tonight. Let's see. Let's see who else we have here. I say that name already. I say that name already. I don't get in trouble. I, oh, ooh, ooh. Jennifer. I said Jennifer. Charmaine. God bless you, Sister Charmaine. Sister Charmaine is in the house. All right, family, I have to go. I have to go. All right, hope you enjoyed that word tonight. Hope you enjoyed our word tonight. Thank you all so much for everything. And, and thank you guys for sowing. Thank you guys for sowing, mailing, offering. Like I said earlier, we were able to be a blessing to people as a result of your giving and what you did for the Word of Life ministry. Jesus is Lord. Fear not, brothers and sisters. Let me close. Let me close. Let me close. Let me close. And now I'm in the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The love of God the Father. Full fellowship and communion of the Holy Spirit. Divine Comforter. Rest, remain, and abide with us all. Now and forevermore. Let all of God's people say amen and amen. God bless you. If this program has been a blessing to you, we would like to hear from you. Please address all correspondence to... The Word of Life Ministries, P.O. Box 451, Brick, New Jersey, 
08723. That's the Word of Life Ministries, P.O. Box 451, Brick, New Jersey, 08723. Also, that information is shown above your screen. Please feel free to visit that information and participate with information. Also, we would like for you to go by our YouTube channel. That's right, our YouTube channel, Bishop Steve O. Campbell on YouTube. That's right, type Bishop Steve O. Campbell on the YouTube search bar and please visit our videos. Most importantly, we would love for you to subscribe to our channel. All right? So until our next broadcast, tomorrow night at 9.30, this is Steve Campbell saying God bless you much. And remember, the Lord is watching over you and everything is going to be all right. Jesus is Lord. God bless you, family. Love you. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bless you. Good night, everybody. Good night. Love you. See you tomorrow.